Welcome back, everyone. So it seems that Pentax has finally realized how innovative of a company they once were, and they're trying to bring that back. We've got a new shake reduction system and a new autofocus system that's in the mix, which I think is the reason why the 2020 APS-C camera has actually been delayed. Now, in regards to the shake reduction system, they're basically just changing the configuration to make it a lighter weight system with more accurately uh, directed electromagnetism uh, so it's easier to control uh, the imaging element uh, which who knows maybe that's going to give us six stops of shake reduction who knows I've highlighted all the important parts and I apologize in advance I just wanted to make this video shorter than the last one I did regarding the patents uh, so you will have to pause the video if you want to read through uh, the important aspects of uh, which I've already highlighted for you um, now, basically, the driving device of the present invention is applied to a camera, shake-preventing shake device. Um, however, they also do state that it can be used for something that's not. So are we going to have a new Astro Tracer? Are we going to find a new type of pixel shift? Who knows? We're just going to have to wait and find out. I mean, Pentax has said this camera is definitely going to be a killer camera. Uh, you know, there's a lot of naysayers and whatnot, but I think there's a, there, there's way too much riding on this camera because <laughs> it has been a while and Pentax is like an afterthought at this point. But anyway, let's bring on that autofocus, baby. This is exciting news. Again, you'll have to pause the video, read the areas that I've highlighted. Now, this... Uh, this patent was was registered on December 13th, so it is very recent. Now, the way the autofocus system works in plain English is it uses two different autofocus modules that see the same image in two different ways, and it's tied into the exposure. Now, being tied into the exposure, it's basically uh, when you're shooting towards light, it's difficult for the autofocus system to detect what should be focused on. So what this actually does is it has a cutoff point, where I guess where it's, uh, where it's overexposed, it will then switch to a different exposure system, as I have highlighted here. Now, all of this is also tied into a backside illuminated sensor. So it does look like it's going to be a sensor-based and separated based autofocus system. Uh, now, in regards to image stabilization and whatnot and the autofocus system, uh, because this is a backside illuminated sensor, a totally new autofocus system using pupil division and mimicking two different images at diff two different angles with a fold mirror craziness. Uh, if you look at these images here, you'll notice that there's CPU and the green is where I've highlighted the autofocus module. So this is exciting and I can't wait for this new camera. What do you think? Rah, rah, like a magic dragon. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's Canada and it's cold and it's full of snow. Anyway, back to the video. So uh, as I said, what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I actually got the uh, patent from, it was an original post on Pentax forums uh, after uh, I dove into it and read the entire thing through Google Translate. I realized what they're trying to do and man, yeah, it is crazy. I don't know, it's hit and miss whether or not this is actually gonna make it into the 2020 APS-C camera, which might become a 2021 APS-C camera, but at the same time, coupled with the hybrid autofocus, I think all this technology has to do with each other. You wouldn't be able to achieve one without the other. So now we're at a point where everything's coming together. They need the backside illuminated sensor from Sony. They need that in order to change the autofocus system. Um, they also needed that for the hybrid system because of the two autofocus modules and the exposure system and on sensor. Uh, yeah, you'll, you'll just have to read the stuff. It, it's really complicated, but uh, that's why I highlighted what I did. Um, I mean, the video would have gone on forever if I went, sat there and explained every single element. So I'm going to leave the links in the comment or sorry, leave the links in the description. And uh, once again, you guys will see me on my next video. Peace.